Welcome into this fresh live edition of Sports Center. I'm Steve Weissman, and just like Marshawn Lynch, you all know why I'm here. Well, straight ahead on Sports Center, we are on Heisman Watch. Robert Griffin the third. You got to slide. We know you're strong. We know you're tough. This is the fourth time all year Kentucky has trailed at halftime. Supermodel Ann V has made nine straight appearances in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, but bragging rights still go to her boyfriend Matt Harvey. For one, he dates her. Plus, it took the Mets rookie less than nine starts to make the cover of that magazine, something she's never done. The series was short, but the games, they were long. And for the second time in three years, the team from Hollywood wrote a storybook ending. I've shot in the 80s once. Once. That was a great thing. Now, before today, Tiger has shot in the 80s once. That was a bad thing. Chicago has faith in Cutler. He'll need some luck, though. The Colts quarterback, he was born with it. They both changed the way we think about a subject, taught themselves advanced skills, and left school at an early age to achieve greater success than any of their peers. LeBron James and Albert Einstein. One wrote about gravity, the other defies it. Microsoft stock was up 32 cents today. Nothing crazy for a normal investor, but it added nearly $107 million to Steve Ballmer's net worth. The former CEO also added the L.A. Clippers to his portfolio today. All season, it's been one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Just like kids in the backyard waiting to blitz, finally, Ole Miss got sacked. All right, let's go Alabama, Tennessee. Lane Kiffin returning to the Neyland sidelines for the first time since leaving Rocky Top, January 2010, just one season as head coach there. Kiffin's mom said she was scared to death for his safety. Uh, the Vols should have been frightened by Kiffin's offense and this guy, Amari Cooper, first offensive play, gone, 80 yards. Bam up, 7-0. Kiffin actually ran down the sidelines and told Cooper he almost beat him to the end zone. Sims finds Cooper hanging with Mr. Cooper. A buck 85 in the first quarter, most in a single quarter in the last 10 years of SEC play. Fourth quarter, they're up 34-20. Yeah, where are you going to go? How about a little more Amari Cooper? 224 yards, that passes Julio Jones for the most in a single game in Bama history. So Kirk Herbstreit, who is your top four now? Serena Williams in the final again, taking on Ana Ivanovic. Now, Ivanovic moves back into the top 10 either way. Serena, though, t top 10 is not enough for her. What is it? You just said she'd never been in the final before. No, last year was the first time. Oh. So this is her second straight see, final. I was just never saying, you were listening to yourself. I, I always pay attention to me. <laughs> Don't need the B-roll, plenty of me-roll. 12 aces for Serena Williams. Ivanovic said uh, she felt like there was way more. Won the first set, 6-4 did Serena. Second set, break point. Now, Williams said this was definitely her best performance of the summer, hopefully not her last. Coach, as we mentioned, U.S. Open a week away. Serena Williams will come in as the number one seed. 62 minutes of work from Times Square. I'm Steve Weissman in for KO. Talk about the ultimate in American hubris. We left, then crushed you in battle, and we're not going to return to overtake your sports landscape. Cool? Uh, riddle me this. We don't have an NFL team in L.A., and we want to give one to London? Come on. Man. You think it's a fair deal to trade Downton Abbey and Benedict Cumberbatch for the crown jewel of American sports? Come on, man! We fought a war against the Redcoats just to turn around and give them NFL Red Zone. Come on, man! Put simply, the NFL in London is bloody rubbish. Just not my cup of tea. The only thing worse, my attempt at an English accent. Hello, governor! Now bugger off.